It's plaguing the Biden administration. Officials are now warning that America's northern border with Canada is being flooded with illegal crossings, with more migrants apprehended there in the past 11 months than the past 10 years combined. Let's bring in New Hampshire Republican gubernatorial candidate and former senator from the Granite State, Kelly Ayotte. Uh, senator, it's good to talk to you. Um, last Great to week, talk to you, John. Last week, there was a Mexican national who was in the U.S. illegally who was arrested for smuggling in people to New Hampshire, who came through Vermont, from Canada. Uh, again, this person should not have been in the country. Yet this person also had a Washington state driver's license that was presented to the police. You argue, as a gubernatorial candidate, that not enough attention is being paid to our northern border. Make the case. Well, there, there's not enough attention being paid there. The Biden administration's open border policies are causing a surge over the northern border. You just talked about the statistics. Over the last 11 months, they've had thousands of illegal immigrants that have been arrested from 76 different countries, John, over our northern border, more than in the last 10 years. And recently, uh, we had indicted on New Hampshire's northern border, uh, what you've talked about, uh, a Mexican immigrant who was trafficking people illegally into New Hampshire. And also before that, I visited a Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, a farm up there, a very beautiful idyllic farm mm -hmm. where the, the farmers actually intercepted drugs on their property and are worried about illegal immigrants that are coming on their property and they should be able to live in peace. So this is what you get with the open border policies. So that's why our governor, Sununu, has called for more resources, but he's being ignored by the Biden administration. And so I'm also calling for more resources. Law enforcement up there wants the help and they mm -hmm. need the help. You know, they, they do when you take a look at the, 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 the statistics in that Swanton sector, as it's known, which is encomp encompasses part of New York State, Vermont and New Hampshire. I want to take a, the, right. a look at the statistics all the way across the border from the Washington state all the way to Maine. 2023, so far 150,743 people have been intercepted. Compare that to 109,000 uh, last year and just 27,000 in 2021. You mentioned that you toured the border. I want to put up a picture of something that you tweeted out here uh, where you went on the property uh, with those folks who've been dealing with this. We, we hear about ranchers in Texas dealing with people who are smuggling drugs across the border. You, you don't really associate that with our, our neighbor to the north. I mean, I grew up in Canada and cross-border smuggling was never a big thing when I was a kid. Well, unfortunately, it is now because the law is not being enforced. And, you know, the farm where you showed the picture of me uh, standing with the ATV, wonderful people. Uh, their family has had that farm uh, for many decades, and they've never had to worry about this before. But now they're worried for yeah. their children. They're worried uh, that they've already intercepted drugs on their property and illegal immigrants coming over. And they shouldn't have to worry about that. And that's why there needs to be additional resources for law enforcement at the border and we need to enforce our laws. So yeah. this impact is impacting New Hampshire from the South because the drugs are being trafficked in and now drugs are being trafficked again from the North too. It's, yeah. it's, it's a very untenable situation. Speaking of enforcing the law, uh, there is a provision in the New Hampshire constitution that you have to have the first in the nation presidential primary. Republicans are yes. going to do it next year. Democrats say, no, we're changing and we're going to do South Carolina first. Well, New Hampshire Democrats say that they are going to defy the DNC and they're going to go ahead and be first in the nation. RFK Jr. supports this. He said, quote, I thoroughly support New Hampshire's century old status as the first primary state and the political culture that has grown up around it. Everyone knows the real reason the DNC made the change. The people of South Carolina didn't ask for it. No, it's simply another undemocratic attempt to rig the primary process in favor of their anointed candidate, Joe Biden. Uh, we talked to Governor Chris Sununu, when the, this was first proposed, he was incensed by it. This is a bipartisan issue because folks in the Granite State take their first in the nation status very seriously, whether you're Republican or Democrat. John, you're right. We do. And we play such an important role of vetting these candidates. And what I think, unfortunately, is happening is that uh, Joe Biden doesn't want to campaign in New Hampshire because he's afraid to actually answer those hard questions that New Hampshire voters ask, whether it's in the diners, at the town halls. 
And, you know, he wants the system to be rigged for him in this primary. Yeah. And the way I look at it is that, yes, this is a bipartisan issue because it's important that if you're running for president, that you actually have to talk to voters, answer the tough questions, that you shouldn't pick the states that you're going to appear in. And so I know Governor Sununu is fighting very hard on this issue. We all agree. Uh, and I'm so glad, by the way, to see all the, the Republican presidential candidates who are in New Hampshire. They are here every day. They're working hard. Uh, they're shaking the hands. They're answering the tough questions. They're doing the town halls and, and showing that our party is one uh, that is going to reach out to voters, mm -hmm. that understands the importance of the New Hampshire primary, to making sure that we have a presidential candidate uh, that can appeal to the entire country. Well, if memory serves, uh, then candidate Joe Biden did not fare very well in the New Hampshire primary back in 2016. So it's probably the reason for the change. Uh, Senator, good to catch up with you. Thank